All right, guys, time for a Lunar Wolf update. This is the next piece in my uh, Lunar Wolf army. This is um, a whirlwind. I'm uh, contemplating having this in my army list next, and um, so yeah, I'll take you through what I've done at the moment. Obviously, it's only at the undercoated stage. I've just used some of the polyurethane Vallejo primer, thanks to my buddy Old Painter Nerd, and I've got to say, I'm really liking it. I'll be using this all the while now. Anyway, to the model, um, basically I've got an old Rhino, and it was very beat up, very beat up old Rhino, but I've managed to save it with a bit of strategic place in the green stuff, and of course some Chapter House Studio bits. Um, the Chapter House bits are these panels here and here, and of course these really cool Lunar Wolf doors, and of course you've also got the front section, this model was actually built actually and it was a right pig to get all these out but I managed to get them out. Bit of damage on the front there but to be honest by the time I weathered it you're not going to notice. And of course panels at the front like I say and the sides. Another Lunar Wolf door. It's got a plane back but I'll probably, I'll probably just leave that plane to be honest with all this iconography on it doesn't really need any more. So yeah there's my whirlwind quite pleased with the way it's come out. I've green stuffed a couple of uh, purity seals, one on the door there and one on the top there. It's mainly to hide some significant damage on the model. <laughs> well, it won't, will it? And of course this bit's not actually glued on so I can always put a door on there and uh, have it as a rhino. So yeah, I'm looking forward to painting this up actually. It's been a while since I've done a tank. So don't forget to subscribe and comment guys for more videos in the Lunar Wolf Rage. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.